All right, you guys, so it looks like Tank Davis won't be doing any jail time. Looks like he been sentenced to basically do house arrest, which is 90 days. So it looked like Tank won't be stressed out and he'll be able to continue with his boxing career. At the end of the day, I got to keep it a buck um, for what Tank was accused of doing. Tank caught a break and Tank is lucky that he's not doing time. So um, I'm happy for Tank. Now the goal is for Tank is just to rebound from this, continue on with his uh, boxing career and just focus on boxing. At the end of the day, I understand, you know, when you come from a rough background, you come from a rough environment, you come from the mud, you come from the streets and you work your way up to get out of the streets. And then at the same time, you have people that don't have basically the luck you have or had the opportunity and sometimes you want to you know bring them along for the ride but you know sometimes the car can't fit everybody sometimes you got to leave people behind but at the end of the day you can help them from afar so you know tank has you know dodged this bullet and like i said for tank i just want him to focus on boxing and just be cool whatever happened between him and the assailant let them work it out amongst each other i'm not gonna just go to the extreme to pass judgment because at the end of the day, it's funny, everybody trying to go so hard on Tank, but then there's people that then done worse than Tank and they didn't caught a complete break. So, you know, and no repercussion. But at the end of the day, people pick and choose who they want to criticize. But, you know, it's easy to criticize somebody that looked like Tank. So, you know, like I said, um, I enjoy watching Tank fight. I've interviewed Tank a couple of times. So I just wish Tank the best of luck. Anyway, this your boy Town. I'm out.